Well, America might have fallen in love with our next guest at the 2018 NCAA March Madness Tournament, but Loyola's 104-year-old team chaplain has been beloved in the city of Chicago since 1961. Uh, let's remember she inspires students on and off the court. Sister Jean joins us with Loyola University graduate Chavez Carter to talk about how her mentorship helped him become an entrepreneur. Welcome to you both. Thanks so much for Thank being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Well, we first have to wish you a happy 104th birthday. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Now, did you ever imagine that you would live to be 104 <laughs> years old? No, I thought when I was 95 that that would probably be the end of the line oh. because my dad lived to be 95. He had six sisters and two brothers who lived in between 90 and 95. So I thought, well, 95 would be my time to go. And here I am. And here, here you are. are, 104, and you just had a book come out. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the connection right here as well, because in your book you mention Chavez. Correct. Can you talk about that connection a little bit? Well, when he came into my office one day, he said that he was going to change his major because he was changing. I would say he was changing his dream. Mm -hmm. And I always tell students, don't let anyone change your dream follow through. If it doesn't work, that meant it wasn't for you. Just pick another one and be successful. Doesn't mean that you failed. It just means you need another choice. So that's what we started to talk about was his other possible choice. And he did have one in mind. And Chavez, you had a kind of tumultuous upbringing and childhood. Yes. And what was it like for you to then have the mentorship of Sister Jean? Oh my God, it was uh, uh, it was incremental, instrumental in um, my success. And as far as being an entrepreneur, you know, she provided guidance. She provided so much support um, in my early, you know, years at Loyola. And you two met because you were helping drive her right or yes, pick her up yes that is correct so <laughs> yeah. yes oh my god yes yeah. so i met her um during my time of course at loyola uh -huh. i was working for a department called comfort services and before my shift i um made it a point to take her from building to building and over time that relationship just grew organically and i started like she said visiting her office and that's when the mentorship started. And how did you find out you were actually in her book? Did you? Oh. Did she tell you? Did she give you a heads up? <laughs> <laughs> no, she did not. I actually got a text from a former boss of mine, Judy Sunvold. She said, hey, did you pick up um, and take a read of Sister Jean's new book, Wake Up With Purpose? <laughs> and I embarrassingly said, no, I have not yet, but I did plan on getting it. Uh -huh. And she was like, well, you're in for a pleasant <gasps> treat. And wow. sure enough, I was in the book. And then tell us, so, Tell us about your success. What kind of business do you have? Yes, um, so I am the owner of Tech East Tech Repair. We offer mobile device repair mm -hmm. services. So we repair laptops, cell phones, tablets, and then we also provide on-site IT services and support. I'm curious, Sister Jean, at 104, you have just one student right. or former student sitting next to you here today. I can't even imagine the countless stories that you have of people's success stories, and some thanks to you. Um, what goes through your mind when you hear stories like Chavez's? Oh, well, he is a role model for other students who, for example, had a difficult time, maybe in high school or whatever, in studies, but who put his mind to doing what he thought he wanted to do and then was able to use his good sense to change his mind because he knew that he was better fitted for what he was choosing. And I think that shows a great maturity in a young person. And I consider all these young uh, college students as young people. That's the only way I can think of them. And yeah. they get younger every year, of course. <laughs> Sister so. Jean, you have to tell us, what are your secrets to longevity? I mean, are you taking a multivitamin? I mean, what's, how, how, give us the secrets to a successful life and, and a long life. Well, what I like to say is that um, I eat well, I sleep well, and hopefully I pray well. But the genes come from my father, as I just mentioned, about his sisters and his brothers. So it's, um, you know, it's a gift from God. And every morning I wake up, I say, thank you, God, for bringing me to this day.
And may I do all for your honor and glory. And that means to be able to help the students. It's a pleasure for me to come to work. And so that's another thing. I'm happy about working. I tell students, if you don't like your job, quit. Because you're a wow. pain to yourself and everybody yeah. else. Absolutely. So just you want to love your job and do it the best you can. Before we let you go, you are 104, as we have mentioned many <laughs> times. It is I'm such sorry. a feat. We're so <laughs> proud to have you here on our first mm -hmm. show. I think it's really special, too, to talk about some really Chicago niche things that maybe we can get your take on as we let you go. Couple rapid fire questions, Sister Jean. Sure. Ketchup on a hot dog, yes or no? Do you put ketchup on your hot dog? No. <laughs> no, she does not. There, you heard it. Willis Tower or Sears Tower? What do you call it? I still call it Sears. The Sears Tower. <laughs> do you, how do you feel about dibs, yes or no? Dibs, mm -hmm. where you can save a parking spot in the winter? Um, not, not the way some people do it. Yeah. Mm. And then deep dish or tavern style pizza? Deep dish. Oh, there you go. That's how I like it too. Sister Jean, thank you so much for joining us. It was so special to have you with yeah. this inspirational story. That's what we're trying to share here on our new show, so we really appreciate it. You can connect with the Loyola Ramblers at LoyolaRamblers.com. Follow them on social media, Loyola Ramblers, or at the uh, three platforms you see there on your screen. And you can learn more about Techie on their website or on Instagram at Techies Loyola or on the other social media pages you see there listed. And don't forget to get your copy of Sister Jean's new book, Wake Up With Purpose, as she does every day on Amazon. You can get your copies. Thank you again to you both, and thank you, Sister Jean. Thank you. For really appreciate you. it. Thanks for joining us.